everyone! This is Dr. Joanna V. Miranda and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Vlogger. So yes, for today, I am going to share with you guys 5 things I wish I knew before becoming a doctor. So medyo matagal-tagal na po yon. So medyo it was really difficult for me to retrieve previous information or experiences. Pero I am trying. I tried actually. I tried and I even asked some of my friends, my colleagues, kung ano yung mga they also wished that they knew before becoming a doctor, specifically before entering med school. So without further ado, let's start with our number one. And sa nga pala, I actually wrote it dito. <laughs> Para may outline naman ako so hindi tayo magkalat. Number one is that being a doctor takes so much time. Yes. That it took that long. Sobrang haba. Sobrang haba ng journey. And sabi nga nila, delayed gratification. Medyo sanay na po ang mga doktor doon. Before entering med school, alam naman namin na mata ma mahaba ang journey, ang process. But, syempre, hindi naman namin, like kung ikaw, before pre-med, before my pre-med was medical technology. So, hindi mo inisip, iisipin mo lang, oh, mahaba, hindi mo inimagine na after pre-med, med school, mayroon pang internship, may PGI, postgraduate internship, then there's the board exam, and then... Ang haba pala talaga niya. So that was number one. Na matagal siya. And right now, of course, alam na naman natin yan. Majority of us alam na matagal siya. But when you're uh, when you are there, sobrang tagal talaga pala siya na journey na tipong <laughs> akala mo yun na yun. But then you'll take an exam again para mag-specialize again ng ganyan. So yeah, matagal siya, especially if mag residency training ka pa. I did my residency training in internal medicine and then I still am considering going to subspecialization pa and it will still like take two to three years pa nun. So matagal po siyang journey. It is really a long ride. Delayed gratification siya, especially when you love being a doctor. I have learned to love being a doctor so it is, it is worth it. So number two wish na pinaka actually ito yung pinaka dapat number 1 ko number 2 is tax BIR accountant etc anything related to that area to that department yung tax BIR getting you know the right accountant grabe i really wished i knew those things even before going to med school and most especially when I started moonlighting, and then now I am working as a doctor na talaga. But anyway, it was too late for me. Actually, I had a bad experience regarding the BIR, the tax. If you want to know what it is, I paid so much for that para maayos siya. And thank God, I have this close friend of mine who is an accountant who helped me. Si Ayn Rica Ginaldo. If you want to contact her or get her, just comment down below and then... Sabihan kita kung paano mo siya makontak. I wish I knew about that. Grabe yung journey ko after, especially that I decided to go moonlighting after passing the board exam. Kasi after the moonlighting, meaning yung job as a junior house staff sa Asian, nag-residency training ako na hindi talaga, na walang sweldo masyado kasi private siya. I mean, we were not considered as employees, so dapat may ginawa ako regarding that status ng tax ko. I didn't do it because I didn't know and I don't have any accountant at that time. So, nagka problema hanggang ngayon, I paid big amount of money. And hindi siya maganda dahil hindi pa ako nag-earn ng big. I paid na ganun na amount. So, it was really a sad experience. And if you want to know my experience, comment down below and I think I'm going to make a video para lang sa ganun. I mean, especially yung mga medical students dyan. And so, I wish I knew about that. So, number three, one thing I wished I knew before becoming a doctor is insurance. I know some of us are skeptical in getting an insurance, a health insurance, life insurance. But as of now kasi, diba the insurances, they offered investments na depende sa kung anong kaya mong ibigay. Especially agents that really care. They want to know kung ano ang kaya mong ibigay. Monthly, quarterly, annually. Kasi yung insurances ngayon, hindi na lang naman siya life insurance. You can act para na din siyang investment. I'm not really an expert about this. But kapag magkasakit ka, may makukuha ka, or yung beneficiaries mo if ever may mangyari sa'yo, mabibigay mo yun. 
sa beneficiaries mo. Hindi na din magpo-problema. Like, I'm also thinking of my children. Kami ni Pai Chi, we have insurances from Pro-Life and Film Life. Yes, as of now, yun lang muna yung insurances namin. We're thinking kasi na parang if ever may mangyari man sa aming dalawa, hindi na magpo-problema yung dalawa, si Olivia and Oriana, sa life insurance. Diba? Kasi nandun na siya. I just started taking or getting insurances actually mga last year ng residency ko yata or even after graduation and sana if earlier pa diba mas bigger pa bigger pa yata yung makukuha mo I mean the earlier the better that's why we were going to get insurances for our children but I think baka next year na I don't know if this is a good year a good time to get insurances but anyway kung insurance person ka you can comment down below and correct me if I'm wrong pero yes we will get insurances for our children then number four is doctors don't get rich by just being a doctor okay most of the doctors I must admit came from you know well-to-do family pero meron kasi pang iba dyan na hindi naman kumbaga average at saka talagang um I mean, you know, para talaga ng minority card ng mga parents to really ipush na para maging doctor. Yun ang misconception talaga na common. I mean, most doctors will tell you that. Na talaga pag sinabing doctor, ay mayaman yun ni, mayaman yun. However, if you consider na lang yung journey namin, yung mga pinastos ng pre-med, med school, residency training, especially like Personally, ako, I trained in mga private hospitals and nung time namin, the salary is really so, para lang siyang allowance. So, I'm just really grateful and thankful for a family, for my mother, aunt, na very supportive, especially financially. Parang kung isipin, hindi mo talaga parang may enjoy yung salary na yon, especially sa yung residency training and everything. Kaya yung iba naman sa amin, nag-moonlight part residency training kasi nagsisave sila. I mean, kanya-kanyang struggles yan, personal personal stories yan because there are other doctors that are rich to begin with because of their parents. One of my friend even said na sana alam niya nga na ganun ang situation na pag mag-doctor ka, hindi ganun na maging rich ka kasi parang gusto niya daw mag kumbaga invest niya din yung sarili niya into a business or parang nag-aral man lang siya regarding a business para at least during the residency daw siya fellowship nag-business na lang siya so at least kumikita din so yon doctors don't get rich by just being a doctor the last one the fifth one is actually it's kind of funny may isa kasi akong friend that when i asked her nga na five things that she wished she knew before becoming a doctor sabi niya Sana alam daw niya na may 36 hour shift daw kami na duty. Especially nung internship, grabe. Para minsan hindi nga 36 hours lang eh. Imaginein mo, yung one day is just 24 hours. So you, just, you exceeded pa yung duty mo. And depending na lang yan, what if toxic. And then you're an intern eh. So lahat pagsakan ikaw. And my paperwork pa yan. So it was really such a rough time, difficult time for, in our time ah, for interns. Interns meaning prior to, to the board exam kasi to eh. I know right now iba na ang patakaran ng mga med students and ng mga med schools. But sa time namin, grabe. I know right now parang binago nila yan because hindi na nga siya conducive. Hindi siya nakakalearn and, oh well, I don't know if it has an advantage or disadvantage. Hindi naman to complaints. I think somehow we we were molded into people na hindi masyadong privileged yung pakiramdam. We were molded into doctors na titiisin namin. Although may complaints deep inside, titiisin na lang siya. So yun, the fifth one is knowing that it could be physically and mentally, emotionally draining and that includes yung, yun na nga, yung pag yung nagkakaroon ng 36 hour shift duty. Uh, that friend na nagsabi sa akin nun, sabi niya, if she only knew, naku, hindi na hindi na hindi na Pero syempre, nandun na siya. I mean, last ano, fourth year yun eh. So, of course, hindi naman pwedeng magbabak out ka na lang and may give up ka na. Sabi ko naman, kaya naman. Hindi naman yata yun isang magiging reason that hindi ako magdo-doctor. But it was really such a difficult time na imagine ko na lang. Hmm, grabe. So, there you have it, guys. Those are the things that I wished we knew diba? even before entering med school and I hope there are medical students that are watching there and I'm nakaka relate or even my colleagues that can relate before I forget I have decided to to do a shout out of the day 
And this shout out of the day goes to Mom Stacy Hikinto. Thank you so much for all the comments that you do or that you post on my my channel, especially para mga genuine pa naman, and then you really watch the video. Thank you so much for that. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and you can click on that notification bell to be updated with my latest uploads and I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you on my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then click on that notification bell and bye-bye!